for this is Australian history. My parents were Gordon and Dixie Nagus. Um, my dad's from uh, the Solomon Island, Solomons, and um, it's on my dad's side, and on my mum's side, I was from Tanner Island in Vanuatu. I asked my granddad, you know, granddad, where are, where are we from? And I was only about like 10 or 12 years old. And he looked at me and he said to me, boy, you no need to know that, you know. And he said, uh, we fella, we live long uh, Australia now. And, uh, you know, we fella, we all are living along Australia way. And with that, he, he looked in a stern voice to me, leaning on his chippo in his big uh, uh, fruit uh, tree garden. But it was some years later I asked my mum. I said, Mum, uh, where did Grandad mean? He never want to tell us that story about where we're from. And Mum said to me, uh, from our, our background, where we come from, we were blackbirded, uh, displaced, taken from our, our lands back into the islands and brought to Queensland for the sugar industry. And there's a lot of bad things, atrocities that happen there. You, we need to simulate into the society now and you don't want you to carry a chip in your shoulder. So we live with the indigenous community. We just thought we were all black people together. My dad, he, he, he once said, you know, he said, uh, me and my wife, we must be Mr and Mrs in between. And, uh, and with that, he, he just walked away and he said, well, I need to find out more about myself and who we are. But um, it doesn't matter how much material things you have, you still need to know who you are where you come from, your identity. Over time I've um, learnt with South Sea Islander um, uh, identity is to uh, speak out and, uh, uh, and give that acknowledgement. When we talk about our Indigenous brothers and sisters, we class ourselves as part of that, that, uh, that, that community, but rejection is horrendous and I suffer that, our families suffer that you know, many, many times. One of my older cousin brother he used to say, you know, we laugh a lot to stop ourselves from crying, so got to be some sort of justification and uh, for that for that suffering and sacrifices that our people made for a sugar industry that was you know, uh, one of the biggest sugar industries in the world back in the 80s. We as Australians say ourselves need to be in unity um, in in telling this story, and uh, um, I believe in education, education for the for the wider community, um, the Australian South Sea Island youth to know who they are and where they come from. And I, I do believe there's got to be full recognition, merely with government, because we are a disadvantaged race, so just being displaced. It's a milestone on its own, but um, there's a long way to go yet, because uh, I think there's a price was paid, and there needs to be some recognition for our old people for that price that was paid. Blood, sweat and sugar, I always say. It's, uh, we pay the, that price for those days for people to have their cup of tea and have sweet cakes and that. Australian Sassy Island is of today. Australian Sassy Island is of today.